So, how's the litter box treating you these days? I noticed you came back smelling like the losing end of a mud wrestling match. Oh, don't remind me. It was a disaster. I took one wrong step, and it was like the ground gave up on me. Next thing I know, I'm face first in my own mess like some tragic comedy act. <laughs> it was definitely more comedy than tragedy from where I was sitting. You went down like a sack of kibble. A very large, very uncoordinated sack of kibble. Go ahead, laugh it up. Just you wait, your time will come. One day your twig legs will give out and you'll go tumbling headfirst into the litter like a noodle in a sandstorm. Maybe, but at least I won't do it in slow motion, complete with sound effects like you did. I swear I could hear you going, no, all the way down. Oh yes, because falling at the speed of molasses really adds to the drama. Thank you for noticing. I'd give it a graceful swan dive if these traitorous legs of mine would cooperate. Graceful? If you tried to swan dive, you'd end up as a fluffy pancake. It's these cursed joints. Used to be, I could leap with the best of them. Majestic, like a panther. Now, I'm more like a beanbag chair someone tipped over. Majestic like a panther? Oh, please. You were more like a loaf of bread with ideas above its station. And you were the stick figure of a cat, darting around like you had rockets in your paws. Now look at you. Still quick to mock, but slow to run. Fair point, old friend. We both come a long way since the days of chasing mice and terrorizing furniture. You know, the worst part isn't even the falling. It's the fact that once I'm down, I have to call for backup like a fallen warrior on the battlefield. Only my battlefield is covered in litter clumps. And the only reinforcements you get are me, standing there like an audience, slow clapping your performance. I must say, you really do put on quite the show. Well, if I'm gonna be a spectacle, I might as well settle tickets. Call it the epic battle with gravity. I'd buy a front row seat. Honestly, though, have you ever thought about asking the humans for a ramp or something? A dignified exit strategy, you know, so you don't end up wearing your own excrement. A ramp? I'd need a full-on escalator at this point. Or maybe one of those chairs that lifts you up the stairs. Now that's an image. The Mighty Muffin, riding his throne of mobility, rising above the litter box like the king he is. If that happens, I'm taking you with me. You'll be my royal footman, handing me snacks as I ascend. Deal, but only if you promise to never let go of your grumpy dignity. We may be old, but we'll never give up complaining about it.